Hey guys, uh, this is Neon for Clownfish TV. I'm with Geeky Sparkles, and we're going to talk about Nazis, Nazis everywhere, or basically how the comic book media is uh, sort of in a roundabout way saying it's okay to go after well, it Nazis. it depends on what article you If they're reading. actually Nazis. It depends. Some articles are claiming that, well, we'll talk about it. It's, it depends. So we're, we're going live uh, for this one because we wanted to get it up as, as quickly as uh, possible. But we actually were going to do a video on uh, the uh, the Nazi punching situation uh, that seems to be happening in pop culture right now. Of course, you know, we're talking about uh, uh, Jeremy Hambly from The Quartering being punched by a person who says he likes to punch Nazis, identifying uh -huh. Jeremy as a Nazi for having different political beliefs than he does, taking it upon himself to uh, punch him in the back of the head in a very cowardly act at Gen Con, Gen Con remaining silent about it. Uh, and well, they, they said they haven't heard from the police yet. Right. Well, they, they did finally issue a statement, I guess. Right. I'm, I haven't followed this very closely over the last week or so, uh, but I, I guess they did finally issue a statement at days after... You know, it's actually after happened. the convention was over right right much, yeah. um so this happens and then like not long after that we get this ridiculous article which has actually been pulled down off of uh comic crusaders i'll let you speak about this because i didn't really okay and we're gonna we're gonna work our way up to the, right. the beat article yeah because there are some things I, I i have some things to say let's put it that way yeah so uh this article basically um and this is actually an archive of it from wayback machine from comic crusaders.com calls for and defends the punching of quote-unquote Nazis. Nazis, of course, being uh, people who disagree with your politics. Yeah, because what a Nazi is and was and what a Nazi is now are two different things. Apparently, Nazis of the past were people who did you know, horrific things, genocide, all that kind of stuff. But a Nazi today is somebody who just doesn't agree with you. A Nazi today is somebody who doesn't like your comic book. And because I don't like that, why is she <laughs> so, a now a dude? Or why is, you know, that? You're a Nazi. Well, as I understand it, as I understand it, what prompted the attack on, on um, Jeremy Hambly was that he did a video uh, calling into question Gen Con's decision to bring Anita Sarkeesian to Gen Con. She's a very controversial figure and he was like what why are you doing this why are you you know br yeah we got traffic it's live what are you gonna do um so why are you doing this why are you you know dredging up these old we're gonna talk the about that why the use of the word nazi here in a bit because that's yeah, what it, i'm mad about it too. was the use of the word nazi and alt-right that kind of brought us into the comics gate situation mm -hmm. uh because but i have been called both yeah, so, <laughs> like stupid people so this article came up because I didn't read it. You talked about it a couple days ago, but they pulled it. Says. They pulled it down. I um, It got a lot of traction on social media. It's probably the most traffic this site has had like ever because I don't think it really gets a lot of uh, traffic. But this article by uh, Chelsea Pendragon um, basically goes down to, you know, your freedom of speech does not free you from the consequences of that speech. Just like, um, well, your opinions on politics doesn't free you from the consequences of your actions. Yeah, a few knuckles versus repeated acts of terrorism seems like a mild trade-off for the type of okay, fanatical where, internet cult these fans have created. What terroristic acts have they done? Give me, wh wh when did this guy, <sighs> I, I was unaware that he created terroristic acts because, you know, quite frankly, there's some things quartering guy says I don't like, and that's okay. I don't, yeah, I don't I mean, expect him to do everything I like because then he'd be me. I'm just saying, I don't like everything he, he says, and I'm just like, eh, okay, agree, disagree, move on. What terroristic acts are these people doing? Because last time I checked, saying things like, you know, hit cis white people with a baseball bat, blowing up the whole GOP, you know, and, and talking about mass group, you know, attacks or, you know, do, you know genocide on groups um, is terroristic threats and, and you know, Nazism. Um, saying you don't like something because it looks stupid. Saying you don't like particular people because of, of you know, just because of how they behave in public. Saying you don't, I mean, that's... That's this, not terrorism. No, that's not terrorism. I think it's because we're seeing, uh, we're, we're seeing, you know, businesses shudder now because there is backlash against the, the SJW mindset. Uh, so we've seen some stores go out of business. We've seen... Um, but that, I think there's many reasons for this, not just that. Right, right. I don't think it's just that. But I mean, you know, how people behave in public, you know, people... There are a lot of people who maybe aren't involved in all of this that they are actually uh, watching... You know, and they're deciding. I mean, same with with the the GI Joe book that was canceled. Uh, there were some people who maybe weren't vocally against Aubrey Sederson, but they're like, you know what? I don't want to give that guy and that publisher any money. So well, I'm still not trying sell. to figure out where this, these, there's these acts of terrorism. Where I'm, 
give me specific examples of acts of terrorism that these people that like you know did that they could they're considered nazis uh probably just name calling and but, I hate to like break I it said, to you, but Nazis did a lot worse than than call people names. No one was killed, seriously uh, injured, and you know, no place in the business are specifically targeted. Uh, no, that actually is not true. Because actually, yes, as, I know it's not true. As I understand it, uh, 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 was it the Gotham City Pizza? Was it the name of the, the where Ethan Van Skyver was going to do a uh, book signing? Was actually vandalized. Right. Um, but so they no, say a few true. knuckles versus repeat acts of terrorism. What acts of terrorism? What Since acts I don't of like terrorism? This, Saying, you know, I mean, I the, the most people I do think say things they shouldn't say. They shouldn't be making fun of somebody because they're trans or whatever. Like, I, I agree with that. You shouldn't be making fun of people for that. However, but if the that's not acts of terrorism. That might have hurt your feelings, and it's a shitty thing to say, but that's not the same thing as terrorism. I mean, where do these people go to school? Uh, because they don't well, know what Nazi means. They don't know what terrorism means. It's the American public education system at work. Um, <laughs> but, no, like, yeah, just, you know, calling people names or calling people out for crappy behavior regardless of their race, gender, uh, sexual orientation. I mean, just because you are of a different sexual orientation or gender does not mean you're immune from... No, and crappy behavior is crappy behavior crappy, no matter who you, you are. Know. I mean, I, but crappy behavior is still not the same as terrorism. No, it's not. So they're equating this. They're they're basically. So I, he deserved to get hit because he was a terrorist. He deserved to get hit because he was a terrorist. And I, they're in a roundabout way talking about uh, Jeremy Hambly. You know, he was a terrorist for having opinions on YouTube. Uh, apparently, YouTube didn't think he was a terrorist because his channel's still up. He's, you yes, know. Because uh, so, that's not what terrorist means. Right. Um, and the, just, the oversimplification is ridiculous. And a lot of this is actually parroted. We'll just kind of get to the gist of this article. It's no longer up. And then we'll talk about the beat article that came out today. And we'll talk about the other article. I'm understanding how move the needle today. and basically things like that, where you're just talking about putting your money where your mouth is kind of thing makes you a terrorist. I mean, if it ruins what you like because people don't want it, that just means it's market. That's, that's, a, that's economics. That isn't terrorism. You know, I mean, their grasp on social studies is lacking but anyway go ahead yeah this is um and again you know th this is just so disingenuous this is kind of what brought us into it because you're know, watching it from both sides for for a while before we actually got involved is just you know i i'm seeing where a lot of the wrongdoing is coming from and it's not coming from the people they claim it to be coming from uh these same folks the ones who have caused so much harm to others have called themselves inclusive but yeah, for the most part, yeah. Uh, they say they aren't against diversity, they support women, and they aren't homophobic. Uh, for the most part, yeah. But all the evidence, what evidence, points yeah, to the exactly. contrary. What evidence? What, all the yeah, evidence. what evidence? And it isn't even their fault all the time. Because as a society, we have so deeply embedded the white hetero superiority in our arts that even tokenism diversity is heralded as progression. Uh, well, no, they, they it get isn't. They pissed about everything. You do. You try to be diverse. <sighs> that's tokenism. You try to do something, you know, to be like, okay, I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to try to do. Well, you can't do that because you're just, you know, you, you, talking down to me. You know what I mean? You cannot win with these people anyway. But what I'm saying is, you know, this is just, I don't know. It's just stupid. You cannot and should not separate those, uh, separate uh, who these people are from their work or their words or their accountability because who they are is entwined in that. Supporting them financially gives them credibility and validation. Okay, this is what we're getting down. And, and this, this it's is... It's all about money at the end of the day. They're just whiny because they're, they're not getting paid what they think they should be getting paid. No, this is exactly... This right here, I'm going to tell you as a uh, mostly casual observer, this is what is gnawing at them. The fact that uh, there are so many people who would rather give money... Uh, to the people they don't like, they give money to them, okay? Right. They're not buying their comics. They're not throwing them a bone on Patreon. Um, they're not supporting them financially. They're not supporting a lot of their Kickstarters. They're mad that, quote-unquote, Nazis are making a lot of money. Well, let me ask the next question. You cannot and should not separate who these people are from their work and their words, and they should be accountable. Okay, wouldn't the same come back on them? Um, when they do something shitty, they're like, yeah, but their work was good. So you, just because they do something shitty on their personal account, you have no right to say anything because it's their personal account. Well, which is it? If these people can't do, say and do things because they're terrorists, because they say some shitty things on their personal account, you shouldn't give them money. But then they do the same thing, but then they get, well, it's my personal account, so I can say what I want to do on there. And my work, this isn't, a, I'm not representing the company. This is my own personal thing. It's the same thing on both sides. Yeah, it's the same thing it's on both sides. the same thing. This is just, it basically, this is a rant. How come I can't get paid in comics, but guys like Diversity in Comics and Ethan Van Skyver and The Quartering can make hundreds of thousands of dollars 
off of their oh. followers because they don't insult them. I'm sorry, I'm reading ahead. <laughs> and these articles are kind of all about my friend. Yes, you know, my they keep friend. Saying, oh, it's about my friend. Asking for a friend. It's about my friend. But And speaking for women, specifically, specifically, you want to scream you're on our side, but you do it so loudly you aren't he- hearing us. And that and isn't that more important? You mean like she I'm just saying all the women are sitting there saying, hey, we hate this. It looks like shit. But all you guys are saying, it's the men, the men who hate it. And, and you're not listening and we're women, but it's the exact same thing. You don't get to decide how to represent women if you aren't one. Well, yeah, that's true. But I am one. And I still think you're full of shit. Yep. And, but it takes a man stepping in and preferably one we aren't in a, who's not in a relationship with because otherwise he's doing it for the sex. I've seen men accused of standing up for women because they must they must have the hots for her. Yeah, no, this happens, this happens. I mean, so often. it's the same on both sides. Um, that just happens. People are just dicks when they say stuff like that. So I love I love this one, because this actually is where the camp I put I put myself into. Um, I said, the people who claim to be the allies of uh, people of color, women, and the LGBTQ community, they allow it. They ignore it because it doesn't endanger them, and it doesn't disrespect them. Uh, but if you could talk respectfully to someone who has labeled me a fat, stupid, slutty blank because I don't like something they enjoy... We aren't effing friends. We aren't allies. We never were. Um, I haven't heard that particular terminology from anybody I wait, talk to. Wait, if you can't talk respectfully to someone... Okay, wait, 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 wait. So basically, we can call you any name you want. We can say any piece of... You know, you're a piece of blankety blank blank. You're a misogynist. You hate Star Wars. So you're obviously an insta who lives in your mom's basement. We can say all that. But you can't say anything back to them and call them things because that's just disrespectful and rude. Am I, that, and you know. Yeah, you can rant endlessly on Twitter. And I've, I've seen these people. Some of these people, you know, I've been following for years and, and they were quasi normal. And then after the election, it's just like their Twitter is just constant, constant running down of uh, all Republicans, all Republicans, all conservatives, anybody that's not far left constantly. Uh, even you know, if you're, even if you are left, but you're not, you're more centrist. You just automatically get lumped. I mean, I've seen more name calling and well, more shitty behavior. Here it is. Um, you know, there it is. We're, we aren't effing friends, Kiki. That's right. <laughs> anyway, I've seen more crappy behavior out of these people, and then, but then they spin it as, well, I'm, I'm, I'm behaving this way because they're behaving the way that they're, you know, what I'm saying they're just basically right. describing everything they're doing, but it's okay for them to do it. It's not okay for what they perceive other people to do. It's like you know, look in the mirror. I'm just saying, Potter Kettle. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Well, here's, you know, she's talking about her friend. She can't name her friend. Oh, yeah. So you never can name the friend. Because she's friend. been harassed of the industry. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, this is, wait, wait, if he's a good creator, we could ignore the genocide. What genocide? What genocide? What the hell are you talking about? I know a girl. Talking I'm, about? I'm, just my friend. I'm speaking for a friend here, guys. I know a girl and she thinks these people are all full of shit. Uh, just my friend. It's not me. Um, so don't blame it on me. Don't come after me. It's my friend. Um, uh, and my friend really hates Shira. I'm just saying, I don't know what's wrong with my friend, but she said, I'm just saying what she's saying. It's not me. I'm it's just saying, me. uh, my friend said this, um, I'm just repeating what my friend said. You can't blame this on me. Uh, this is so, this is why, saying. this is why, you know, and I completely agree. Like the comic book, and I don't even call it an industry. These people are like the fringe. Like this is a kind of a fringy site. Like, I, I, the fringies, I'm telling you, the it's fringies. the fringies. They're the fringies. I'm going to call them SJWs because calling someone an SJW implies that they are actually interested in social justice, like actual social justice and social and change. Calling alt-right Nazis actually implies that they're actually crazy Nazis. And there are people out there who are both these things you're describing. Right. But... but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the fringies. We're talking about the fringies. Um, so Astro Nazis. Oh my God. Uh, so yeah. So this is basically my friend's feelings were hurt. And um, anyway, so this is a very long winded article. It's no longer up. You can find it on archive.org uh, comic crusaders. Uh, I, I do not have the time of day for now because they oh, actually published oh, this oh, as news. Oh, to God. Um, so yeah, this of last course, part. Oh, oh, we couldn't even put Captain America. No, in no, this last part. America Chavez. Um, but instead, they're being used to promote agendas that are built upon hate and violence and intolerance, says the people who are being the biggest bunch of this. Um, it seems to me people get punched in the face. So be it. Because I'm tired of not belonging to the community I love. Uh, get in line. And I shouldn't have to. Well, we used to belong to the community we love until we didn't have the right We didn't have the right politics, right we narrative. We used to belong to um, the community. Then they all follow you for no reason. They yes, know they you did. personally and they know that you're not like that. And I shouldn't have to feel like that because you want to protect the freedom of speech. Sets so people demanding freedom of speech. 
but not advocate for the consequences. You mean like you think it's okay to punch people, but not have no consequences for doing it? You know, yeah. I'm like, God, I, I can't even. Just, so just, it's a very, yeah. Just, I just want to smack somebody and that's not okay, of, of course, but slut shaming is not okay. No one says it is. Hypersexualization is not okay. That's why you ruined She-Ra. Lack of inclusion is not okay. I agree. You shouldn't not include people. Ignoring the plight of others who actually have been oppressed is not okay. Well, it depends on your definition of oppression. Yeah, I, I think um, oppression of freedom of speech is is a very real thing. I think we're seeing more and more of that, uh, you know, which is frightening. It's frightening at the velocity that it's... Being it's time to see Cat Punch America. <laughs> Transphobia is not okay. Agreed. Agreed. Racism is not okay. 100% agree. Right. Anything ending with ism or phobia is 99% likely not to be okay. Yes, 100% agree with that. Then stop labeling everybody who doesn't agree with you isms because they're not always an ism. You keep, a, you keep They want to keep um, labeling people with the most extreme example they could think of, even if it's some, some minor something that most people think. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's, and then it ends with, okay, so you're thinking she's, basically she's venting. Like this belongs on Tumblr. This does not belong on a quote unquote news site, which again is to me is just another example of like, there is no comics journalism anymore. It's, it's over. It's done. Yes. It's been over. Oh, yeah, um, we it's just a bunch of, about. yeah, it's a bunch of, and we're going to go We haven't got to what I was mad about and, yet. Cause it's, it's, yeah, we've got some backstory, some context here. So she ends the article with, uh, so punch a, an effing Nazi cap did it basically saying, yes, it's okay to punch these people because, yeah, because they make me feel bad. A real Nazi. Not the pseudo Nazi label that you slap on everybody who doesn't agree with you. And um, yeah, I noticed that two people who complain about inclusion are the ones who say, "Well, that's not for you." Yeah, because they have no other ex they have no other argument to give you. If you're like, "Well, why would they do it?" Well, it's not for you. That's their brush off tactic to get you shut up. Yeah. Um. They, they don't. They're out of because basically they can't. A lot of these people cannot look in the mirror, and uh, people don't understand that fascism is actually socialism. Yes. And isn't capitalism, the SJWs are the real Nazis. Yes, who are the ones, and we did a video on Comicsgate, who are the actual bad guys? Who are the ones who are censoring people? Who are the ones who are... Having um, backroom things trying to get stuff out of shops. Yeah, that they're they're actually trying to, to get books banned. Uh, who are the ones trying to sabotage people's businesses because of politics? Who are the ones um, you know, blocking and banning people and trying to get them deplatformed because they don't agree with their politics? Well, that, well, I just looked at it as movies. When you see someone behave that in the movie, they're always the bad guy. So if they're becoming the bad guy because of their behavior and people are saying they're bad guys, that makes they're, they're doing it to themselves. Like, their own behavior is making people think they're the bad guys. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Which dumpster fire, fire article is this? This is actually... It got pulled down. Yes, yeah, it got pulled down. This is... Uh, There's a new dumpster fire no, article we've got we're going to talk about. Multiple. There are multiple. This one got pulled down, but like two more sprung up in its place so, today. So, yeah, we'll talk about the one I was really this mad about. This is Comics Crusaders. They pulled this down. There was a quasi-apology from the editor after people called him out for actually publishing this this rant. Again, this belongs on Tumblr. So this the not lesson is freedom of speech is applicable to anybody who believes what they believe. If you do not believe what they believe, you do not have the freedom of speech. Yeah. You're just a Nazi who deserves to be punched. That's, right. in a nutshell, what's going on. And they're mad about money. The whole thing's about money. I yeah, mean, at the end, at of, the the end day, of the day, the thing everything's is, about money. The, what do they expect to happen? You are admittedly a socialist, okay? And the capitalists are making more money than you are. That's a duh. That's just a freaking duh. Like, you, do you not understand how this works? Capitalists tend to pursue money making. <laughs> you know? When you ask most people what they um, want, they usually have some kind of, when they describe what the government and system they want in place, it's usually some form of capitalist socialism. It's actually a combination of the two. Yeah. So they keep separating and being dicks about it, but most people actually want a combination of the two, and that's like the rational calm It's, it's calm a pol people. polarized, and the problem, um, the problem you is... You can't have calmness. Though, that's just, you know, with, I think, talk. No, God. Well, in comics, especially, like, it's gotten to the point now where, and I do agree, people have said to me before, they're like, if you are even a little bit right of far left, you are considered a Nazi, you're considered alt-right. Like, what used to be quote-unquote normal, like, a normal Democrat now, it might as well just be a conservative, because... Right. Th that's how far things have gone and which these people the, have infected the comic book which is where and then the use of the word Nazi which goes to the article I didn't see the other one you were talking about but this goes to the article that I sent you that I was like what the hell okay so that this just showed up this little bit ago this just showed up on Comics Beat and they so all keep using the same picture they all use the Captain Punch and <laughs> Hitler so we're going to use on our, our live stream so just they pulled assholes. that they pulled that article down uh, rightly so because it basically had a call for violence at the end of it okay yeah. um, and the, I, I mean yeah you, you have freedom of speech but it, it's you know I, I don't condone calling for violence against people in a quote unquote news article now comics beats coming out with an another op-ed piece 
Uh, complaining about politics, same same beats. It's the same thing. Complaining about okay. politics and entertainment when they've been intertwined for decades. Okay, which we've actually been saying. Politics have been entertainment for years. The difference is entertainment was still entertainment and it wasn't like ramming it down your throat. But here's my thing. This is funny. Um, so here's the thing about people, women, people of color, and gender queer characters growing closer to the spotlight and taking center stage in entertainment. Most industries for decades have been dominated by white men. I'm an artist. So am I. I earned my degree in cartooning. Guess what? I've got a degree too. And that required I take a history of cartooning class. And you know what? When I got my degree in art, in art in general, I had to take art history. I actually almost have another degree in art history. I'm like a couple classes and an internship away. I almost have two degrees. And you know what I found out? They said I sat through lectures of dusty white men for three hours. The same thing in art history because art history in general, there's a lot of white guys. I'm sorry you don't like to hear it, but there are. And now it depends what you're studying. If you're studying African art, you're not going to run into a lot of white guys. If you're studying art, women, women's history of art, you're not going to run into a lot of white guys. If you're studying like any other, you know, places, history of art, you're going to run into a bunch of people who aren't white guys. But when you're studying something that's predominantly white, like Impressionism or something like that, you've got your Mary Cassatt's and stuff, but mostly you're going to talk about your Monet's and stuff like that. You're going to have white, white men dominate discussion. Comics, same thing, because it was a lot of white men. But there were a lot of women, too, which they always they always forget to mention because it doesn't fit what they want to say. Yeah, you know, it's so funny because we brought up in, a, in another video, like, you do realize, like, during DC's most successful period, well, I guess, you know, it was after the implosion, but but Jeanette Kahn ran DC for, like, many, many years. Uh uh, you know, there's so many women editors, you know, behind the desk. Just a lot were, of most, a lot of the agents are female. Yeah. A lot of editors are female. Um, a lot of people that are doing things that aren't mainstream comics, but are more like the graphic novels and that kind of market are female. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we can't say that. Um, but they said industries of comic animation, video games were once from a boys club. They were a lot of boys involved in that. But that doesn't originally. mean, well, originally it was made for women. They were made for both. Yeah. But I mean. here's the thing. It's like, yes, there was a lot of guys in it because that's who went into it. It doesn't mean that, you know, it was always keeping people out. Do I think it happens sometimes? Yeah, I think it happens sometimes. I'm not going to say it doesn't. I know it does. But I also don't think it's to the extent they always want to make it. But anyway, because I just thought it was hilarious. I have a degree in cartooning. So obviously I have a degree. So, you know, uh, geek, yeah, geeky and, is it. Well, no, I mean, this person. I got a degree too. I almost have two degrees. <laughs> oh, right. And it's in art also. And I had to take a history of cartooning class. Well, you know what? I took a shit ton of art history classes because I have almost have a second degree in art history. Master's degree. And your cartooning degree. And Sorry. Guess what? There was a lot of white dudes in our art history, but there was a lot of other cultures in art history as well. But you often were taught a bunch about white dudes because there was a lot of them. God, this is welcome to art history. It's anyway, just, this is just venting. Ah. This is venting and and now here's right. Yeah, like this part. Go yeah, ahead. this is venting. This is all this is. So then they're talking about how they used to how Nazis used to mean something different. Um, they always used it. What if Nazis won and took over the world? Which is kind of the game you're playing. Um, and like you, Indiana Jones, and you don't have to fight Nazis and fight Nazis. Right, because what the real Nazi idea is is something that is completely different from what you have desensitized people and made the word Nazi mean. Yeah, th this is the part that got me though, because yeah, I was gonna get to that. Oh, okay. oh it's a friend. Oh, it's another friend. It's my friend. Okay, is that is that the the other uh, woman that wrote the article for the other site that got pulled down? Oh no, it's her friend. Okay, it's always a friend. Do you want Do you want me to? Yeah, go ahead, because okay. I'll probably just talk. I'm gonna to have you. dramatic. I'm so gonna like have an auctioneer and crack. Go I'm ahead. sorry, you're very wound about this. You were actually the one that gave me. We were actually gonna do a video on all of this uh, Nazi punching, uh, this Nazi punching phenomenon, because basically these people don't know what else to do at this point because their their books are failing the industry is kind of on the decline and they're watching people they hate make lots and lots of money mm -hmm. um and that burns their biscuits so uh recently i spoke with a lovely friend who has often discussed with slash taught me about the subject of judaism and representation in media i asked her what she thought of marcus meachin's case in scotland we know uh who this is count dankula mm -hmm. um case in scotland having been charged with a hate crime short version he made a video joking about how his girlfriend wouldn't won't shut up about how cute her pug is so he taught the pug to be a nazi the not the dog did the nazi salute and now he's looking at possible jail time it's ridiculous. yeah it's ridiculous but to her the hate crime label is extreme it is extreme but there was a much more important issue that meachin's comedy steps into turning a very unfortunate and increasingly real threat such as nazis into a joke can be a great way to fight that hate and ignorance or a very dangerous benefit to them. Uh, the Yeah, so what she's talking about is minimalizing the impact Which of I the agree word with. Nazi. Um, okay, so... People keep minimalizing what it means. When, when every random 
uh, uh, even slightly conservative uh, male YouTuber or, or blogger or whatever is called a Nazi, okay? Yeah. Doesn't that minimalize the term Nazi? It Doesn't does. that it make a joke of people to it too. the word Nazi? Because it was, I completely agree with her, being very, very serious. Um, but not for the same reasons they're, they're mentioning. Right. It was a horrific event in history. Yes, the Nazi regime systematically murdered millions of uh, yeah, not uh, uh, just Jewish okay. people. There are other people. Anybody who didn't agree, this is true. Anybody who didn't fit their I- ideology, uh, were were killed, and that is true. It wasn't just Jewish people. That is true. That's what a Nazi is, people. Somebody who doesn't agree with you and who says, "I don't like your character because I don't like that you made them this, that, and everything else, and I don't find your story entertaining," is not a Nazi. That's a Nazi. Yeah. This is not a Nazi. So, so let's, yeah, we need to be clear on this. So let me read this and then I'm going to show you something else. So we don't want to turn Nazis into a joke. Right. We don't want to. Which minimize. is what we keep saying. Right. The Holocaust was one of the most indescribably horrific events in history. Absolutely agree. The Nazi regime systematically murdered millions of not just Jewish people, but anyone who didn't fit their ideology of what was to be a sole superior race. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah anyone who true. didn't fit their ideology. It wasn't just Jewish people uh, they killed. They killed a lot of people. To turn the Nazis into a joke is not inherently bad, and satire is meant to be clever, magnificent, tool to punch up at the oppressors. Yeah, but then when you say that, you say, let's not let's not take the Holocaust right. lightly, let's not take uh, Nazis lightly, but you call everyone who disagrees with a Nazi, and then you do crap like this. Always punch Nazis. A Kickstarter. is isn't the same person. No, it's but, not, but yeah. it's the same mindset. Like, this is, again, this just is... Uh, okay. Okay, so the tricky part is, is Lanny, bad satire compared to punch down at those being oppressed. Well, basically what I'm saying is, is, is stop using it as your go-to insult for people. Because it's not what Nazi means and what you're using it to mean are two different things. And all it does is, one, uh, it, it, it does... The disservice to people who have been actually people who died horrifically, right, horrifically, who have been, you know, where people that were victims of true Nazis. Um, it, it, it does a disservice to them, and it somehow makes it lesser, makes the word seem less. So it, it seems like what happened to them wasn't as bad as what it is. When you're using Nazi to describe everything, it, it, it's not okay. It's it's that's probably the biggest insult you can give people who died at the hands of of Hitler, uh, is to just turn. I mean, look at this. You're going from 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 Jews who died in concentration camps horrifically to calling anybody that has any commentary on the state of comic books a Nazi. Yeah, oh, the Marvel I mean, sales numbers are down. Wonder why that is. Well, you shut up, you alt right Nazi, and that's actually what happened. How insulting! How insulting and belittling and and insidiously evil is that to equate? the suffering of the Jewish people to a comic book critic. My great, I mean, it's so stupid. My great uncle actually cleaned out some of the concentration camps. He was there. He was one of the ones sent in to clean it up. And he was one of the ones who went in there to help free people. He would never talk about it to the day he died because it was so terrible. He saw what a true meaning of Nazi, being a Nazi was. He would never have called someone a Nazi because he disagreed with him. Because to him, Nazi was such a horrible thing and it was such a, you know, he cleaned up the aftermath of what, a real Nazi, what real Nazis did. He would never think to use that as an insult to somebody because no matter what somebody did to you, he wouldn't have thought that they warranted that name. Yeah. You know, to begin with. And the fact that this new group of people who, who have, like, you know, really are so far removed from it because, it, you know, even when we were kids, it was a long time ago. But we still had relatives who were involved in World War II. The new group of people have no connection to it whatsoever. So they have no feelings towards it other than what, what's the worst thing I could think of to call them? Nazi. F you, Nazi. It, it's become so comical and so tragic because it just shows, like, how little people actually knew the history. I mean, now they're harassing people. They're harassing people in, in uh, restaurants. I mean, I saw uh, uh, the black lady who's conservative. She was heckled. It was I think it was in Philadelphia. She was heckled out of a restaurant and being called a Nazi and a white supremacist. Yeah, so she's black. And it's a black woman. <laughs> I'm like, are you that? And by white guys, white guys and girls. It was all white people, yeah. It was all white people calling a black woman a Nazi. I'm like, what the frick yes, is like, wrong with you people? They don't, they clearly do not understand what it means. Um, but my friend and I concluded the following, the, the, the following, the problem isn't making Nazis the butt of jokes, but the problem with Nazis being a, a default fictional villain without really showing what makes them so awful besides what they call themselves to a point. Oh, I lost a place where a point where people stop doing that I'm trying. <laughs> end up seeing Nazis as something fictional. You Nazi stop yelling at me. <laughs> More than as real life people, which I agree with. I think they take it to use it so much that it doesn't actually represent what it represents, but I don't think this person's representing what it truly represents either. 
And they're saying about, you know, their, their point is they're kind of like it's belittling the word Nazi, which I agree with. But also in this article, they're also talking about later on, we'll get to that, about, you know, but maybe it just makes you question your own Nazism kind of behavior. Yeah, it is. And it's, it's like, so I agree. You, you can't, there is a problem with making a default fictional villain without really showing what it is. I agree with you. Um, so stop doing that. I'm just saying, yeah, <laughs> stop we, it. Some people in the comments said people who call others Nazis have never encountered real Nazis. Uh, this is entirely true. These people who want to punch Nazis, if they actually ran across a real Nazi, have you seen American History X? I don't think it would go the way you think. Well, I don't think go. everything's the way a movie is either. No. But, you know, I'm just saying, it's just, it's it's not what they think it is. And um, so they, they go on to tie it into Loki and Thanos and all that, whatever, you know. Did you guys see Look Who's Back? No, I've never seen it. Sorry. Okay, so then they're talking about um, all these different ways media and film use Nazis in improper way, which I disagree. I, I mean, I totally agree with. It, it's being desensitized or using it in the wrong way. I agree with it. Then they come back with this. Let's wrap this up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, here, no, this part. Yes, there's a lot of politics in media these days, but those who seem bothered by it either understandably or are maybe just looking for escapism in general. Yeah, what yes. most people are <laughs> from the stressful reality or what I've been seeing more of. These people aren't used to having their real life truth of true human apathy and cruelty. And I would hope the later will consider that part of their discomfort is basically your discomfort. You're not comfortable because it's a healthy self-reflection and you're seeing Nazism in yourself. It's basically what they're saying yeah so, and it's like bullshit people just want escapism they, they have to they get they see this shit all day they want to go have yeah. fun i have god my life sucks I, have, I can't go on the internet without having people yelling about politics i can't go to work without having people yell about politics my family thinks politically different than me i can't talk to them without hearing about politics i'm gonna go read a comic ah oh, shit it's politics you know i'm like i'm gonna go to the movie more <sighs> politics all this all this rhetoric from two that claim calling someone sjw was equal to calling someone nazi no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there are ext- no. I wouldn't say about SJW. I don't. I don't think. I don't. He's think- saying not to call her by SJW. Not to call fringy people are worse than SJWs. SJWs are bad. But like I said, I think, is worse. Yeah, the SJWs, I mean, it's more True about, SJWs, one, actually are trying to make change, or even if they're not, they're just, you know, at they're, least they're, they're so saying much they're making change. <laughs> We're talking about the fringes are just being crazy for being crazy and then hiding. Calling, behind. calling someone a Nazi, I think is a, yeah, I think it's a very deplorable um, and I think there are people that are do. deplorable on both sides, but they're the fringies. That's why I'm calling them the fringies because they're the fringies and they are. And I'm sorry if you don't want to hear it, but there are people on both sides that are fringy. That's just the yeah. way it is. I mean, I don't like the term. I think I, I think what gets me about the term SJW, and I, I guess it's just kind of become a catch-all. Um, That's why I think all Rod Nights is a catch-all, Because I, I think there are people who actually are concerned about social justice that aren't fringies. They're not... They're not pushing. They're not advocating violence. But they're that's not, not the people we're talking about. Right. We're that's not, not what yeah. we're, those people aren't always we're talking about or we're seeing. I, yeah. No. The people we're seeing, especially in comics, which is like, which is like insane. It's like it's getting the runoff from like the, the fringy, fringies. the fringiest of the fringies. Like comics, I, I think because of the the lack of money. I think the lack of money correlates with like how insane people act. Well, no, I'm just the reason <laughs> I'm know? saying fringies is because I think people are just throwing SJW and alt right Nazi around. And especially outright Nazi, because I mean that's just crazy. Outright Nazi around over every little thing, and I'm I'm like, but I think fringy is a better term for the people that are that you know that out there. They're yeah. fringy, because you know just not liking Marvel sales numbers does not make you an outright Nazi. No, just not just saying hey, I don't think racism you know should be okay does not make you a, a extreme SJW. I mean I'm talking about the fringy people, the fringy. We're talking the people the people actually advocating for violence, the people advocating for revenge yeah, for the some perceived slight uh, who turn everything into a political issue. Yes, fringies, um, that's how I spell it. Like, fringies, like, you know, fringies. Yeah, F-R-I-N-G-I-S, the fringies. That's what I'm calling them now. They're the people that are so out there. So anyway, I love this. Let's wrap this up on a lighter note. Yeah, so I like how, well, uh, no, I like how she, like, ends is like, she's talking about the Holocaust and everything. And she's like, casting uh, Domino as a I was going to bla- read this part first, oh, okay. but okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I was going to say, have you ever noticed that marginalized groups are almost always entirely focused on inclusion? No. No, I don't. Um, uh, do our more like FlameCon? Yeah, FlameCon I think is accessible to everybody. I agree. I'm just saying there's a lot of people like, oh, these marginalized groups are always inclusive. No, you mean like Emerald? It was Emerald City. Was that the one where they, they Emerald t- City, which I think I had this. You had to pull up right there. Uh, Emerald City. Here we go. You mean this? Yeah. Where white males, there was no groups. There was groups for everybody. But when people were like, well, I'm, uh, you know, so I'm a white citizen male. Where can I go for industry mixer? Uh, hi there. We don't have a specific industry mixer for your category this year. You mean inclusive like that? Like 
that's yeah, inclusive. Yeah, that's not very. Um, I'm just saying. I'm gonna answer Comic Rust. I said that, that. I think that's what gets me about social justice. It's sort of like I, I think the thing with SJW, and this is just a sidetrack here, and I'm not trying to you know. Talk that's okay. Me, go ahead. But the thing about SJW implies that there is actual social justice involved. It's sort of like calling the Westboro Baptist Church uh, Christians. Because they're clearly not reading the same Bible that everybody else is, you know. Um, but they're fringy. They're they're fringy. Yeah, they're just a different different flavor of, of fringy. So yeah. So I'm just saying. I mean, I think anytime you're throwing around and lumping everybody in categories like that as a, you know, well, I don't want to hear. What oh no, say. we're not we're not getting we're not getting upset. Um. So yeah, no, calling so, no yeah calling. I, I always like this when I'm mad. SJWs, SJWs. Yeah, it's not it's not. As insulting of a term as Nazi. I mean, Nazi is not just an insult to the person you're hurling. It's an insult to people you're turning who are into a meme. victims of right. Nazis. You're, you're turning you're turning the word Nazi. It has no gravitas anymore. It's like it's like you know a kid being uh, uh, you know learning a new swear word and using it like all the freaking time. And it just, just becomes more comical anymore. than anything else. It's like this isn't even and and to make light of Nazism to make light of the Holocaust by flippantly just attaching that term to any person you disagree with is is stupid and if it's you claim ridiculous. to be it's, it's it's insulting yeah and if you claim to be for social justice the fact that you're doing that shows me that you're, you're not, not really about social yeah. justice because you would be worried about the people that were actually victimized by them and not just throwing it around mm -hmm. like nothing so yeah um no but i i, I i'm james not surprised black, black i was james joking they probably were gonna do oh, that black james bond. Yeah, I was joking now, there, i'm still trying to figure out james bond is he they ever did they ever settle this is he still the same james bond or are they just assigned the james bond name to oh i was just waiting for james dude. bond to be a woman now a black woman now because you know we have to get the women in there unless yeah. james bond was a was a black man and then he became a black woman then it just hits all the bases yeah i'm just saying well that's don't you're okay <laughs> Um, I wish I had that video of that guy. He's so funny about it. I'm dishing out justice. <laughs> oh, that uh, JP was a. I don't know. I love him. He's oh my so god! Great. It's like people we actually but, know. So at the end of the article, which you're going to finish talking about at the end, you were talking about Deadpool and all that. Yeah. So we go through all this, and this is what I'm talking about. Like these people, I think it's because they're in comics. They have like a real disconnect from reality. I, I mean, I really do because we're talking about all these. But really they have a degree. They have a degree in, in common in cartooning. So their degree trumps your opinion because they have a degree in cartooning. So if that's the case, my degree in, in art and my almost second degree, it's like a master's level in art history, would trump anything they have to say, which is ridiculous. It doesn't trump what you have to say Sir. because... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't bring Trump up in this. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, Nazi. but you know, I'm just saying. It's like I don't. You know, you have a degree. That's great. So do I. It doesn't mean that you, your oh opinion means more than mine. So, so okay. So at the end of this, we're talking about these really weighty things, and then we go back to like casting Deadpool two, thus changing Domino's race and giving her a vitiligo. Both gives the character a little extra. What does this have to do with Deadpool two? This has nothing to do with Deadpool two. This has to do with whether or not you're know, calling people oh, wait, who it, by don't all agree means, with you or not. the way politics and diversity is handled. No crime and things like saying the four. I don't. I don't. What? This, she has no. Criti point. Even better, the criticism she's, is constructive. Actually, her the points she's making are valid points, but they work against her. Right. Like the politics and identity have always had a place in entertainment. Yeah, we've said that multiple times, especially comics and the people making them in and around the mainstream aren't just straight white guys anymore. They haven't though. No, here they haven't. Hey, been. hey, Miss, I have a degree. They haven't been for a while. There have been a lot of women in cause. Comics in general was mostly created as a way, like, it was mostly for women when it first like romance, started. books, and... That's how it yeah. started. Bullshit. This, this is what I'm mad about. That manga. Right Look at there. manga. Manga is a very uh, female-dominated, um, you know, uh, comic strips. A lot of female creators in comic strips. Right. What I'm, mean, yeah, I'm saying is making the idea that it's only white guys, and it's, and you go, it's okay because, golly, gosh darn, golly, gee willikers, we're getting inclusive, and there's a lot of people here aren't just white guys anymore. I'm like... But there have been a lot of people, that, not just women, there's been a lot of people that weren't white in comics. Yeah. There's been a lot of people who weren't white in comics. Yeah, there were people. I mean, so I'm we're, like, like what race the hell? is only, and we talked about this before, like race is only, has only become uh, kind of a hot topic lately, I think, because, you know, there were so many creators, you know, when I was reading comics as a kid that were, you know, uh, black creators, uh, Asian creators. I had no idea. I just read the comics and right. I enjoyed the comics. And we were kind of colorblind to, like, really back then, though, like, the cartoonists weren't 
celebrities like they are now. It, it was basically like they were a footnote on the front page well, of the comic, but syndicated comic artists were celebrities. For yeah, time. they were. Um, but yeah, I was like, yeah, I didn't know the person who did FMA was a woman. I didn't know that. But um, I'm just saying they keep having this. They keep trying to spin this that it's just equality now, buddy, because it's always been men keeping everybody out. But that's not white men, white guys. Um, that's not true. Yeah, that's there's been a lot of big now, names who weren't white, who weren't men, who weren't, you know, it's like, God, well, you let, know, let me trans. Let where, me, we didn't study your comics history. No, they didn't. Um, they're just looking Phil, at the, you got an F in that class. Sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. I, I, know, I know. I know. And and so what's what's going on I love Sailor Moon. now is I basically think, you know, because comics has been comics has been a very open industry for uh, a good number of years. OK, it hasn't I mean, it hasn't been the only the only hurdle people had to get into comics and break into comics was you really had to know the right people. Right. And that, but, but that's still the case, I think. Right. But your race, your gender, your sexual orientation, that was never really an issue. So basically what I'm saying is if you couldn't get into comics, uh, it's not because you're female or uh, you're trans or you're black or you're you know, whatever. It's probably that your work is not marketable and or you do not know the right people. I yeah, mean, and somebody that's, who that's might not really, be as good yeah. as you might have got in because they knew somebody, and that that happens all the time. And I mean, were, was there like uh, a lot of men, and it was kind of male dominant? Yes, if you were in the big two, I would say that's probably true. But that's not the case for everything. And even then, they still had a lot of women and people of different races and, and you know ethnicities in there working. So the, the whole, basically, the whole thing is, I'm mad because women, more women weren't in comics, and I'm blaming the white guys. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what it, uh, it is. Usually, it comes that back back to I'm mad. I'm not working in comics. Um, and it's got to be somebody else's fault. Uh, yeah. You know, so. It's just, oh my God. Um, anyway, I just, uh, this article is what sets This me is off. one of the articles. The thing is, it's it's like clockwork. And this is what we're talking about with, yeah, we're talking about, we're talking about all the manga artists that are, are, are women. I mean, they're, God, uh, Rumiko Takahashi is like so wealthy. I mean, she's mm -hmm. like the richest, one of the richest cartoonists in the world. She might actually be the richest cartoonist in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, she said like every series she's done has been a uh, slam dunk. And, um, so here we go. So okay, so this is this is one of uh many um articles that have popped up in the last couple of days since they pulled the, the since they pulled this this ridiculous article down. Um that now they're doing uh so now we have the Wonkette. Um same day, August tenth, today, Dr. Zoom, same image. Well, Dump. they made it, they they lightened it up, made it a little brighter. Yeah, and they're attacking Oh, it's not the same image, it's brighter. It's br it's brighter. Yeah. It's not Death Star, it's bigger. So, uh, dumb right-wing rag the Federalists forgot how much superheroes like punching Nazis. Now, this is attacking um, uh, uh, John Delaraz, who... I didn't read this one, did, so. He did, actually, he did a pretty good article in the Federalist, uh, talking about, uh, you know, all the stuff going on with Comicsgate. And, uh, of course, they can't stand it, because that's, like, mainstream mm -hmm. <laughs> media. So, um, so here we go, wonk yet. Uh, which, you know, 100% independent news, yeah, because, you know, nobody wants to advertise, so they depend on begging. Um, as we have noted many times, wing nuts just don't get pop culture. Ted Cruz is simply the worst of the bunch on that. Now, this is a rambling, like, I can't follow this. They either think it's corrupting America or complain pop culture was once as far to the right as they are, at least before women and minorities ruined it. Or are they just plain get it wrong, as if the original Star Trek had been a tale of Goldwater conservatism in space, when at most it was a Ken uh, Kennedy liberalism in space. Uh, yeah, well, Ken Kennedy would be considered an alt-right Nazi now. I hate to break it to you. it's That's where we, we've gotten to. Uh, complete with Klingons to stand in for the commies. The latest pimple to burst on the perpetually angry face of the culture this warriors is, puke. is a rant from the Federalists. This is like... You need more than one paragraph. A rant from the Federalist about the eminent doom of the big two comics publishers, Marvel and DC. Uh, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, it's you've been totally happening. It, it, you don't have to bring politics into it. Look at the financials; it's happening uh, because they've gone and forced politics in the superhero comics. No, I don't think that's everything. I think it has definitely has definitely played into it, though. As if uh, Green Lantern and Green Arrow had never made embarrassingly stilted forays into yeah, no one's saying it was cities. never political. They're just saying that it was never to the place that it's just like, oh my god, can you like, you're not even fun. You're just like preachy, preachy, preachy. You know that's the difference. Yeah. So um, you see, kids, nobody's reading comics anymore because publishers have completely erased muscular white men from their offerings, at least uh, uh, outside all those extremely profitable movies with guys named Chris in them. Okay. 
the movies <laughs> and the comics are not the same thing. The movies and the comics are not the same thing. They're not even the same company. Marvel Studios and Marvel Entertainment, which owns Marvel Comics, are not the same company. Marvel uh, Studios answers directly to the Walt Disney Company. They are a division of Walt Disney Pictures. Marvel Entertainment is like free floating. And I think that their, their time is about up because they're not really turning profit, but they're rolled in with publishing. They are not the same company. They all are part of the Walt Disney Company, but they're not the same company. The movies have no bearing on the comic books. Um, just so you know. Uh, so now they go, she, they go through and wonk it and they basically attack everything that uh, John Del Raz said. Um, God, it goes. I didn't on forever. read this because yeah, I, I, I didn't read I, all I found of it the either. other one. I didn't read all of this either. Um, okay, so let's just read a little bit here because we got people on, and this is interesting. I haven't read all of this. Uh, okay, so Marvel launched. This is John Del Ross said this in the Federalist. Uh, Marvel launched a new run of Captain America by uh, Todd Nahisi Coates, who wrote a rant in the Atlantic, arguing that the election of Donald Trump surfaced a long-standing culture of white supremacy in the country. His handling of the character came soon after Nick Spencer, uh, right after Trump's inauguration in 2017, turned Captain America into an allegorical Nazi in order to attack right-wing America. Well, they did. Uh, Spencer wasn't fired for his offensive performance on the patriotic character but rewarded with a higher profile book the amazing spider-man yes that is true he laid low for a while and then he got uh spidey translation from wonkette oh sure maybe there's nothing yet to bitch about in coat's treatment of captain america but let me bitch about the previous writer and all the other stuff coats wrote also excuse us but spoiler warning Cap's seeming transformation was due to an evil doppelganger. And if that's not a traditional comic book plot line, what is? Also, DC Comics has gone and gotten all political as if Superman hadn't been full on New Deal liberal from the get-go. I don't think he was. Uh, saving folks from crooked bankers and always standing up for the little guy. Just think, the social justice warriors have even gotten Superman. Doing what's right and standing up for people that are the little guy is not the same thing as being an SJW. Again, this is so by the definition of SJW is now. But this shows their bias. Like you're basically saying conservatives, liberals own compassion. Liberals uh, have yeah, the market cornered yeah. on I like that. Racial... Liberals think they own compassion. That's true. They do. They think they own compassion. They own uh, racial tolerance. They think they own And I'm liberal, things. so I'm just saying. So I'm being liberal. The social justice warriors did not get to Superman. Uh, Superman... Was like this for, before. <laughs> for truth, justice in the American He's way. This is man. America. America, you know, this is America. Uh, it didn't matter if you were uh, what what political party you belong to. But I'm seeing more and more that um, one side of the aisle is really trying to paint the other in a very negative light. Um, okay, so uh, such political correctness in 1949... I like this. People actually care about others. They don't have a name. They don't need a name. Exactly. And the assumption that if you don't agree with me politically, you obviously don't care about people is the biggest load of shit I've ever heard. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just I have to stop swearing, but I'm so mad. Anyway, this is so, but no, but what I'm saying is like at the end of this, what is going on is, so they pull down the one art. Okay. So, I mean, you look at the timeline and you can see the wheels at work here, how yeah. comics media, how pop culture media works you see the wheels okay so uh the quartering gets attacked at gen con by an admitted uh nazi puncher he likes to punch nazis he wears shirts that says punch a nazi uh he gets shut down the quartering makes uh money to cover legal fees um you know and he gets a lot of support from the community that makes people angry so they have to come out with an article why uh, you know explaining why it's okay to punch nazis uh that's put down because and, you're not allowed to say punch people right so that gets taken down and now today we have two or three new articles popping up defending nazi punching but in another way yes yeah you pretty see, much you know you see what i'm saying like it's it's um this and it's because they're trying they can't stand it they can't stand it that they they're not winning but if, if they think this is a pop culture award they're not winning they're actually doing themselves more harm trying right. to smack the other side down yeah you and know it is, negates for, whatever point the they might they're have. mad about aren't really a, a, a side against side issue like most people believe racism's crap most people believe that you know picking on people based on you know race sexual orientation gender any of that stuff's crap i mean most people i think agree on that right but they keep making it this, this issue that isn't even an issue that they're thinking is an issue that's not an issue you know what i'm saying i yeah. guess i'm a mythical unicorn because i don't i you know don't believe that racism is okay i don't believe that sexism is okay i don't believe um 
that a lot of this stuff's okay, but I also don't believe it's okay to call people Nazis for no reason. I don't think it's okay to go and deliberately incite violence and then claim, oh, it's only that side. I don't understand where it came from. I don't believe it's okay to go punch people. So I guess, you know, but they said that people like me don't exist. So I guess I'm the mythical <sighs> unicorn. I'm God. not real. No, they, they don't. Yeah. I mean, Wait, it's, unicorn, baby. but no, it's always, it always comes back to white men. White men. It's always, you know. They always been white men, no matter conservative what. Conservative white men. People don't like Star Wars, white men. People don't like she it's white men. People are, you know, you know, people are, are don't like certain comics where they are. It's all the white men. Uh, you know, Beth, yeah. you're the, you get blamed for everything. Sorry. I, I know, I know, I know I do. Um, and again, I hate but according to, according to uh, <laughs> the author of the article on the beat, um, I am not her ally uh, at all. And I've never been her friend because no, that, that, that was a different article. That was, that was the beat, wasn't that the beat? No, that was the one you that. Went the oh no, it was this one. I can't keep them straight. There's too many Nazi articles, uh, and they're yeah, they're just popping up all over the but place. We don't now. exist. We're not real. We're not a friend yeah, because I don't know what you know. Even is. though, and 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 Neil will tell you, if someone's getting picked on or someone's getting harassed on things, I'll be the first one in there like, oh hell, you didn't. You know, it's like yeah. you you know, you're a woman. Who do you think you are? I was like, oh hell, you didn't. You're you're black. How dare you? Oh hell, you didn't. You know, you're whatever and i'll be the first person in there like oh hell you didn't but then these people make it so even harder to defend them because they're so they're behaving in the way that i usually stand up against so i'm kind of like i don't know what to do here <laughs> because it's like normally no go up against the, you the but now you're telling me you know oh uh, i kind of i kind of agree with something roseanne uh said not the racist comments but i agree with something she said on i think she was on jimmy kimmel and Jimmy Kimmel's like, why did you change your politics? And Roseanne's like, I didn't change. You guys all changed. And I feel that way. I feel like if you if you sort of settled on being a liberal in the 1990s, that is so far away from where things are now. Like, it's gone so far away uh, from that. I mean, there used to be some commonality. There used to be some middle ground. And now it's just like it's an either-or proposition. Um, and it's really uh, shocking. I mean, it's really shocking how fast this has, has happened. Yeah, it, it, I know. It's just, it's just, it's just, and you sit there like, I don't know what side I'm supposed to take. So I just take the side of myself, which is, I think you're all full of shit and here's why. You know what I mean? But it's just, that's where I get the fringies. Because I think there's people on both sides that are ridiculously fringed. And I call them fringies. But I don't think everybody is that. But I really think calling people alt-right Nazis for every little thing is just so wrong to so many people. And it, and and like I said, to my great uncle who actually cleaned out concentration camps, he would be appalled people are using that as an insult. Like, as using it as a your mama you Nazi. He would yeah. just, he wouldn't be able to, he wouldn't even be able to understand it. Cause you know, you couldn't be anything worse than Nazi as far as he was concerned. Cause he saw what happened by true Nazis and you can't compare. I don't like what you did with this comic. I don't, I'm going to say so to, um, I just cleaned out the concentration camp and all these people were gassed because they were Jewish or they didn't believe in what Hitler believed. You know, it's, you cannot compare the two. They're not even comparable. Yeah, I know. I know. It's disgusting. It's disgusting that they actually use the term Nazi so so flippantly. Um, so now they're now she's going because this is basically just like taking it out on you know we can't have we can't have even one or two dissenting voices. There are only a handful of publications that cover uh, uh, that are 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 pro comics gate, and we have to make sure that we smack down every one of them at right. every chance we get because we cannot have any any dissenting voices at all like there's just you can't but you're voted out and eventually they're right. going to have nobody left yeah roseanne yeah we don't like roseanne parsley i'm not a roseanne fan to begin with um i didn't watch her show my only problem with roseanne is i don't think it's right I, she's what she said was wrong and i completely think she you definitely should have had to be in trouble for it but i've seen other things that are said as wrong out of other people who are allowed to stay in their positions and there was, and then they did the thing with God. Now they might backpedal on that. Yeah, I gotta look and, into that more. But that's um, it's just it becomes like you need a set set of rules that apply to everyone. This whole rule, certain rules apply, but only to certain people in certain groups is bullshit. The way to stop a lot of this trouble is here's the rules. It applies to everyone, irregardless of what side you're on. Di this is the rule. You stick to it. Yeah, Disney Disney needs to institute a very hard. Uh, then they have a, they have a hard social media policy, but it seems like that they're they're lax on. Uh, the rules for certain people. I think if you're kind of a, a bigger figure, if you're a director right. or whatever, you can do more than somebody. You get can't. away with more, and they can always cover that. With same with Marvel, the, the, how they cover it is, oh, they're freelancers. You know, the rules don't really apply to them like they do employees. Mostly, the handbook I think is for the grunt, you know, the office right. workers, the cast members working in the parks. But they need to set a stand and just be like, look, these are the rules. We don't care what your politics are. Um, these are the rules. You do and not attack customers. You do not say stupid things. You do not make stupid jokes online that could potentially uh, be, be viewed as an attack on customers. Now, you're free to say things you want to, but 
I know Geeky's right. looking at me like, stop talking. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> oh, you said about third party. And, um, uh, Aaron's on. He said about third party. We said that before, too, about third parties. Yeah, there and there are other party. parties. But you need a third party that's like a viable third party that's bigger than what we're getting. And unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Yeah, and I know. I know the Democrats were very upset with the Green Party because they blame the Green Party for Ohio. They're like, you're throwing your vote away. I'm like, yeah, but you know what? Uh, you guys aren't really very welcoming anymore. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> just, just saying. saying Captain EO. Yes, we need Captain, Captain EO. Captain awesome. EO is awesome. Captain EO would dance the shit out of him. Uh, but, you know, okay. One of my favorite scenes in any movie that I've seen recently um, is Hail Caesar. Where Josh <laughs> Josh Brolin is smacking George Clooney around because George Clooney has been spending time. If you guys haven't seen Hail Caesar, you need to see Hail Caesar. Uh, so George Clooney is pounding around with the socialists in Hollywood. And uh, Josh Brolin finally gets to him. And he starts spouting off some socialist nonsense. And Josh Brolin just slaps the crap out of him. He's like, this... The studio has been good to you. Stop talking crazy. That's kind of how Disney acts <laughs> too. Sometimes Disney you know? does do that. They but they used also to be like understand that, yeah. that you know we got we here's the lines and what can be crossed and what can't. I honestly think about the gun issue, uh, James Gunn issue. I think okay, the way Disney handled it, there's got to be more to it. And the reason I say that is because people have gotten uh, removed for less. For, or for, for, well, they've gotten removed for things that seemed like they were, uh, you know less than that so i'm just thinking that there's got to be more to it because like they got rid of roseanne for making comments it wasn't that she could apologize she was gone uh what, yeah. what happened to lassiter that... there was there was um you know people who had, had leveled complaints against him saying that he was doing this and that he's still there at the end of the year he's not gone yeah. um he's going to be going on his own terms but he's still there i think if if they didn't have something like uh, more evidential on him i don't think he would have been kicked off so I think there's more to it. I really do. I don't know what it is, but I think there's more to I it. Think that, I think they know more than they're letting on. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to make accusations, but I think, because, yeah, John Lasseter, again, those those accusations were very nebulous, but they're phasing him out. Now, now James Gunn having tweets that were 10 years old, you'd think they would that wasn't, phase that him wasn't, out. You know, but they're 10 years old, and it was yeah. like, that's not something you think, you, you know, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Like, you know, Whoopi and Joy Behar say worse things than that, and they get to apologize, and it's okay. Um, and I don't want, you know, I'm, not, I'm actually don't like would be Joy, Joy Behar or Roseanne. So, but I'm saying they got to apologize and it was okay. So it had to be more than just they were tweeting yeah, 10 years more, ago. Well, and it could be, yeah, somebody mentioned that he was a Marvel hire, not Disney. That's true. Disney That's likes true. to hire their own people. That's true. Uh, Mr. Sex says social media is where Disney is behind. They're very self aware. Cast and crews use Nokia phones without cameras on set. Well, that's probably smart on that. Yeah. Um, Hail Caesar first shot close up of the Roman was my friend Chris. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I loved Hail. Tell I them loved, that we like we like Hail Caesar. I, I love Hail. <laughs> I, I like Coen Brothers movies. I, I liked it. Um, tweets with convicted. Yeah, this. You know, uh, I'm not going to accuse anybody of anything, but we don't um, know what's going on. I just think there's more to might it. Might have been too close for comfort with the uh, Houston Huddleston situation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, now it could have just been like my friend was doing drugs. I had no idea or whatever. But in this case, it's like my friend had some really dubious stuff on his R drive. I didn't know anything about it. You know, I don't yeah, know. I just, I just, I, I don't mean, know. I'm not I don't know. What I don't it know. Is, we don't know, but I just don't think they would have gotten rid of him. And, you know, over tweets from 10 years ago, and that's it. You know a what I mean? Dapper Dragon says, I think Disney cut gun because as far as they knew, worse allegations of pedophilia could have been coming. So they cut ties to avoid possible embarrassment down the road. That's yeah, what we're kind of thinking. I'm there is something. Thinking that's what we're hearing, too. They dropped him like a hot potato just in case. In case, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Doesn't mean he did or didn't. If, it's just the, the whole threat that he might have. If they bring him back, I'm assuming they probably did their own internal investigation no pun intended um and uh <laughs> an internal and they found nothing suspicious oh my God. so uh anyway um okay so let's go back to this wonkette article i mean she's just ripping uh john del Ruz to pieces well on, see i'm not familiar with this as much as i am like the other thing wonkette was a big deal like 10 years yes ago. i, I, I get cares. that but i mean it's like you know i'm not really understanding what's you know, this whole thing but on this one but i don't follow it that closely but uh, but the whole idea is there is that you know people and mainstream media was starting to take a take a look at this situation and they're like why did this guy get hit at a convention? Um, it was starting to get make the rounds. Got, yeah, I understand why. I'm saying this is what the media is looking at. And then all of a sudden these guys come out with these you know right. oh, being a Nazi's wrong, but you're still a Nazi. Yeah. And if you and if you you know if it makes you feel like you're a Nazi, maybe you're being convicted for your own personal beliefs that are like Nazis. I'm just saying. Um. Yeah, and and here's 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 the thing now. Like, 
like there are I, I think all this is the pressure from like more mainstream outlets picking it picking up That's the story. Saying. Yeah, about the court. I think you're entirely right. And now they're freaking out because it's like, oh crap, we have to defend Well, Gen Con didn't issue a statement until it got in the mainstream media and things like that. Then all of a sudden they're issuing a statement. Gen Con, that was gutless. I, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand it happened off site. But when they were banning people from talking about yeah, the attack on Twitch and they refused to acknowledge it until they basically got pressured into acknowledging it, um, that was gutless. And um, people are going to remember that. They're going to remember how gutless well, Gen that's Con what was. I'm, I mean, I'm upset about, about this whole thing is this that one, stop calling people Nazis for every little thing. Somebody who says some things on the Internet you do not agree with does not make them a Nazi. It does not give you the right to punch them in the head. Um, a lot of people say things I disagree with all the time on the internet. And if I ever met them in person, I would still have a rational conversation. Well, I'd try. I'd try to have a rational conversation with them because some of these people you know damn well if you met them in person and they found out who you were and if they had their mind made up about you, there's no rational discussion mm. to be had. But you try to have a rational discussion with this person. Um, I would not hit them. I would not punch them. I would not harm them in any way, even if I really wanted to. I wouldn't harm them in any way because that's what a, a rational adult does. And calling anybody, who, you know, everybody's being, laying people don't agree with you, Nazis, and saying, go ahead and punch them. Do it for me, people. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, God. Uh, John Del Roz is a uh, conservative uh, blogger. He does, um, he's got his own blog out here. He's written for a number of uh, publications. And uh, he is under attack by uh, this guy. Uh, with the mm -hmm. NRA is weak, sad, poor sign. Um, who's... Oh, he now, doesn't know how to spell doctor. Criticize, yeah, well, he doesn't have a PhD. And he has a PhD he in rhetoric. He doesn't have not, it. Not in English. Oh, he does a PhD. Okay. Um, you know, because he says that. That means he knows more and his opinion matters more. He had to make sure he pointed that out. Go ahead. Um, yeah, he's talking about how sad it is that John Del Roz had a, an Indiegogo fundraiser for his own comic. And then he's asking for money down here. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just like, this is just, it's just, you know, pounding their little they, they they can't wrap their heads around any of this i guess my whole point and everything i'm saying is stop using the term stop calling everybody who doesn't agree with you a nazi because it's it's not okay um because real what real nazis were what they represented is nowhere near the same thing as you're describing right um are there people out there who are racist and homophobic and sexist and stuff yes but is that everyone you're labeling a nazi no and plus nazis were far worse than this <laughs> so i'm just saying yeah i mean this is this is this is tragically Let me ask you a question apparently. um can uh neon and geeky sports how long will comic book shops be gone i don't know all the comic book shops in our area are already gone uh I mean, they they were on the decline before, but I think it's it's. I think it's it depends snowballing. on the comic shops too. It depends yeah. on what you know. If they're if the shops that are going to continue to back things that don't sell, they're going to end up going out of business. That's just <laughs> what. Have they have they gotten into selling pop vinyls yet? That determines yeah, whether or not they they're stay in pop business. Vinyls, they're probably staying in business. Uh, well, honestly, the shops that are staying in business are the ones that diversify into tabletop gaming, into pop vinyls, pop um, culture in general. Pop culture in general. I mean, there's one shop that's about 45 minutes from here, and they sell a lot of like movie memorabilia, uh, sports card memorabilia. And they have and stuff. one little tiny aisle of comic books. Yeah, and a couple of long, but they don't push comics like they used to because they're not they're not selling like they used to. Okay, well, anyway, I mean, the only point of saying this was because, you know, everybody's labeling everybody else Nazis, and it's not okay for many reasons to be <sighs> throwing that around like like nothing. Yeah. Um, it's just not okay. And it's, it's belittling, demeaning to people who are actually victimized by Nazis, the real Nazis. Um, and Nazism and terrorism are not the same thing as saying, I don't like something, and here's why. Yeah. That, you know, I mean, people shouldn't say, like, you know, things like, you know... Some of the things they say about people because they're trans or whatever, things like that on there, I, they shouldn't. But that is not terrorism. That's just, you know, being mean and making fun of somebody. That's sticks and stones. That's not terrorism. That's not Nazism. No. No. Um, okay, he was he was a steampunk author. Okay, that's right. He was an author. See, I didn't know um, about him. That's why I said Yeah, I, I know a about. little bit about him. But, yeah, I think what's going on is basically, like, look, these guys, uh, these comic book news sites, again, this is, you know, based on observations, they work hand-in-hand hand with the comic book publishers uh, to promote comics and, frankly, agendas and certain people. 
and they're freaking out because they can't control the flow of the spice anymore. Like as comic shops die, as publishers see, um, or, you know, face bankruptcy, I think IDW is probably going to go bankrupt very, very soon. Um, as all the, you know, as, as people are not getting, uh, any increase in page rates as, you know, the industry's, <clears throat> excuse me, basically shriveling up and dying. They're watching, uh, quote unquote, Nazis make hundreds of thousands of dollars just by doing one simple thing, like not insulting fans. So the money, the money is still out there uh, for people who. The people who say don't insult fans, don't insult customers are Nazis. Yeah. Sorry. The people who are giving fans what they, yeah, right. That's, That's so the people sweet. who are actually giving people what they want. They're creating products, uh, you know, for a specific audience. They're giving people what they want. Uh, these projects are not, you know, blatantly right wing most of them they're just they're just decent stories uh given to them by people that they they like and they're getting money for it you know that's so easy how that works but the the comic book industry has damaged itself so much that i don't i don't know if there's any coming back from this because well, there's it's, so it's, many creators out there that are it's so mouthy. spreading into everything but yeah. you know the all very all right nazis is spreading into everything it's not just comics anymore mm. Um, someone said about go <clears throat> bad about local comic shops. Yeah, you, you're lucky you have them. You're lucky you have new ones that reopen. We've had a couple around us, and they all have closed, and they've all closed for the same reasons around here. And it actually wasn't comic sales; it was because uh, they all yeah. ended up being sexual predators. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is true. All the comic shops have closed, well, except for one. I think the one went out of business because they're just the bad one with did money. because it was bad with money. Two of the comic shops that we used to frequent they went out of business because the owners wound up being sexual predators. Yes, and one was ended up murder had murdering somebody. Oh but. yeah, the other one, the other one. Um. Yeah, murder con. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was by you, though. That wasn't by me. The two that were here. No, by that me. was that was Pittsburgh. That was. Uh, no, but I'm saying the two that were by me, that were the big ones by me. Mm -hmm. Um, they went out because there was uh, sexual inappropriate. Yeah, the one, the one. Um, he really, he really liked them young, and the other one, I believe he punched his wife on Easter morning. Something like and that. And went out of business. Yes. But that so. was that was ones by you, but not by me. Where I won. I am at. I can't even speak. Um. So anyway, that's our, you know, that was kind of what we were talking about. Uh, anything else you want to say? Uh, not really. I'm just, I'm, you know, watching this again, you know, being, being in media and having, you know, worked in newspapers and stuff. And, you know, we work on public relations and all this junk. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching this. This is definitely, this is, this is how they're going to try to get, get quote, quote, revenge for the quartering being successful after one of theirs you know, tried to punch a Nazi and it actually blew up in their faces. Right. So they tried to punch a Nazi. It actually had the opposite effect. It actually created more support for, um, you know, the anti SJW uh, movement, if you're going to call it that. And now they're freaking out and they're all releasing these articles denouncing Nazis, but they're not coming out and saying, saying they go punch a Nazi. Well, they're just Nazis are bad. People will like embrace the term SJW. They embrace it. Like they're on Twitter. Well, oh, I'm an SJW. If you don't like it, kiss my butt. I'm SJW. I'm SJW. And they embrace it. And that's, you know, that's, that's their flag of positivity. But then the, but those people, most people aren't embracing the whole alt-right Nazi term. Um, some are, but most people aren't like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, it's like it's, that's, it's one's to consider a term of, you know, by the groups who are, you know, spouting this mm. is considered a term of, well, it's a badge of honor to be SJW and for the other group, but you know, and, and, and you know, calling out people, all right, Nazis, most people aren't going to be like embrace the term Nazi because they're like, uh, I'm not a Nazi. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like, that's not a good way to win over, win customers, they call them. So it's not Nazis, it's pedos. Thing, well, around here it was pedos. Um, Oh, we're not in Pittsburgh. We're in PA. So we're not yeah. in Pittsburgh. We're but, about an hour and a half from Pittsburgh. But Pittsburgh, um, now there was controversy because the uh, the guy who actually founded the Pittsburgh Comic Con, which at one point was a fantastic comic convention. It was it actually really the was. first comic and convention. And then Wizard killed it. That's another yeah, story Yeah, that's a whole entirely. other thing. Well, actually, the murder killed it. No pun intended. Well, that, and then he, Wizard just buried it. They buried it. But they, they uh, the owner uh, had killed his wife, first wife, I believe, uh, and he was convicted. And then uh, his second wife, um, God bless her, because that's a horrible thing to have to live with. And they were still married, as far as I know. Yeah, she was actually really nice. But um, she took over, and the show just declined uh, horribly. And then Wizard came in, and that was like the kiss of death. So Yeah, so you used to, and, and, and Neon was from Williamsport area originally. My friend said I was reading it. She knows about it. Uh, okay, uh, what, what was she reading, Aaron? I don't know. My friend said that it was reading it. And she knows it was frowning, and then side and side put it down. I don't she enjoy asked, the same 
Yeah, well, that's how it is. And people just get to the place where it's, uh, yeah. just, it's not fun. I stopped buying monthlies. I mean, I'll buy graphic novels, but I don't buy monthlies anymore. Um, have you read X-Men Grand Design? No. Um, I wouldn't. No, I, I, I don't even know that. what's going on with the X-Men I right now. I haven't had time to read. Uh, do you watch <laughs> SJW channels on the other side? Um, yeah, not so much well, I'll now. I'll tell you what. Until recently, th- we both were very, I wouldn't say we were SJW, but we were very much on the whole side of we're against well, what we thought was SJW, which was uh, against like people being marginalized for race, for right. you know gender, for sexual orientation, and things like that, which we still stand by. Yeah. Um. But that what apparently wasn't what true SJWism is, and um, which we were informed and kicked out of SJWism because we didn't know that we weren't we weren't left enough you're not what you're not yeah well no it's, that's it and that's what's kind of crazy so i'm not about really this. sure what true ones are and what true ones are because i would have thought we were you know defenders of what's right at one point and and you know and i still stand by those things i still will defend them um but apparently i'm not you know left enough yeah it's um, i'm not gonna apologize for being white i'm not gonna apologize <laughs> you're not gonna apologize for being a guy no, we can't I control no... that any more than somebody no. can control how they're born you know it's just like and right. and and anybody having to be forced to apologize for that is ridiculous no matter who you are um yeah wizard yeah. world completely killed yeah Pittsburgh. wizard oh my god I mean, I, was... I, we were invited the oh last god. two wizard worlds <laughs> and it was like the it saddest so they were like selling tickets for half price um over uh oh crap what was that one app the uh, I don't remember. Oh, oh, over Groupon. Groupon. They were trying to get people in their half price. So we had all these like, and they were giving tickets away and they had like old lady, like just to get butts in there. They had old ladies like walking around the show floor. Like, oh, look, Margaret, they've got fudge here. I like fudge. Yeah, pretty much. People That's normally. That's exaggeration. Yeah. And they, there was only I overheard her because they must have like let them in for free. But she's like, I heard that they usually charge people $50 to get in and we got a good deal. Look, there's the fudge stand. I was like, oh my God, these people yeah. are not going to buy anything. I know. Oh yeah, PA is a huge state. It is really big. Um, well, we used to, my sister used to live in Lancaster and stuff over there. So we used to live over there a lot. But um, about Pittsburgh and stuff. Yeah, it just, it was already doing bad. And after the first Wizard World, they asked everybody, well, what's going on? And people told them, they said, well, you do know there were like two or three other conventions in Pittsburgh. Yeah. No, we didn't know that. They had like, no idea. You bought it and you didn't look into what your competition was before you bought it because they were just so sure they were to come in and dominate. And people kept telling them, your prices are too high for the area. You're going to need to lower your prices and a couple other things that would have helped them. But they yeah, just but like didn't listen to anything they said. And that was the end of that. Oh, that's so. cool. Aaron, <laughs> Michael Rooker was my only sale that Sunday. Oh, my God. That was like Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet kept walking by uh, my table, and every time he walked by, he'd go, woohoo. He did. He <laughs> did. did. He did the Mario sound. <laughs> I think that was his only sale that day. We, we got uh, my nephew loves Mario, and we got him an autographed uh, picture. Unfortunately, they wouldn't let me tape it because he does all the voices when he signs the photos and he was doing all the voices, but I had to pay like an extra 60 bucks to actually be able to tape yeah, him doing it. That can... was Wizard, not Charles Martin. A very, very nice guy. I, I like yeah, him. Yeah, but... so, you know, you had a nice conversation with him because our, our nephew's autistic, and you were talking to him about how a lot of autistic kids really like the Nintendo characters mm. and how he, honored he was that, that kids like him so much. Um, yeah. There's, there, yeah, there's a far right and a far left. Um, I mean, this is where, where, where we... There's the fringies. I'm sorry you hate the word term fringies, uh, but I'm yeah, just no. going to say fringies. Yeah, because I don't... There is... Because I don't think there's actual any... I don't think there's any actual social justice in SJW. I think it's... I think it's... Like I said, it's like calling the Westboro Baptist Church Christians. Like, right, I don't... Yeah. They're not... They're just... Um, let's idiot. see. Let's see. Uh, what's going to happen? We don't know what's happening with the Dark Phoenix. I yet. have no idea. I think... You know, I, I was thinking, well, maybe Disney will just pull the plug. Because, I mean, Age of Apocalypse was awful... Uh, dark. Well, it wasn't. Eh, it was. It had. Okay, I had a couple of good parts. It had a couple of good parts. But, but Dark Phoenix is like the most epic X Men storyline ever, and that's one. You know, if if I just bought the rights back to X Men, I'd be like, no, we're saving this one for the MCU. You know, we want to save this for the MCU. We don't want to let them do a half assed right. version of of Dark that Phoenix. That might be what happens. Go ahead, you read some comments. I'm just gonna. Um. Hold on. He's he's reading. I'm trying to. Yeah. What have I missed? Oh my God. Uh, what have you missed? Pope size. Uh, everything's kind of, everybody's going all, all Nazi punching crazy now because, uh, everything's not, everybody's a Nazi. Yeah. Everybody's a Nazi. And I'm sorry, but I felt like the fringes, but here's my, here's my logic on calling them fringes. Besides the fact that they're very fringe. So we're talking about people that have extremes on both sides and then you're lumping them together as both being fringy, which is insulting to them probably because you're calling them the same as the other person. The other side is, Yeah. it kind of sounds cutesy and annoying and it's even more, uh, you know, you can't get any more demeaning to somebody and say, Oh, you're one of those fringies. 
And then they'd be like, I'm a what? Yeah, oh my that God. So don't, cute. Assume my, don't assume my it's gender. It's like when you have a no, vicious no, no. dog and you're like, oh, you're so cute with your hat. It's kind of like that. Yeah. I, you and know, the dog I, just gets mad at you like, fear me. Oh, but you're so cute. It's kind of like that. What's with these people? Like comics already was kind of fringy to begin with because you had people. I mean, let's, let's face it. Most people who want to make good money, who want to have a normal life, who want to have a stable life, they do not go into comics. Comics is a very kind of iffy business. Yeah, but I'm not, you're not the same kind of fringy I'm referring to. No, fringy. but it's, I think what happened is it kind of started attracting, as the industry declined, we saw an increase in people who were fringy because... They wanted cheap people to work cheap. They want cheap people. And I think like, in you general, get what you pay for, right? I think a lot of what we're seeing, too, is fear makes people crazy. And like you said about the spice and the fear, I think uh, with, like I saw a lot with different things when people are desperate and they think there's a way out or they think that something's keeping them from achieving their goal, whether it is or isn't, they're going to be a lot more vicious than your something's funny because you're laughing. Oh, uh, no, Aaron said he wasted that. his life. No, you haven't, Aaron. Well, and so I'm did just, so did Neon. I did too. I just started. I just, and I'm I just, bad because I enabled because I, I should have been like all the other wives out I there. I actually didn't want to get back into comics. But, I, but all of your friends were like. Oh, I wish my wife let me do them and everything else. I Man, I should have been one of them and been like, you know. But I was like, let's do them together. Yeah, no, I was like, um, <laughs> this will never work in comics again. Yeah, dude, you're on the naughty list now. You're like never going to. We're, work we're in no, we're not. So, it's like, um, so what's, uh, it's not the same kind of fringe. It's not fringe show. It's fringies. Like I said, it's like the, the, the vicious dog that you, st- you stick a hat on it and say, oh, aren't you so cute when he's like barking at you like, fear me, human. You can, stick a, hat, you can hit, stick a hat on a dog. You can't put a Hitler mustache on a dog or you'll be arrested. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't nuts. be doing it anyway because it's kind of crap, but that's just a joke. A, people can't take jokes anymore. No, they can't take jokes. Well, it depends. It depends. Uh, you know, it's like cultural appropriation. It's intent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I don't know. It's just yeah, just comics is just like it's just on like a, a suicide run. I honestly god, I think the industry's like yeah, I don't think they they're thinking long term because I think they're just like they're thinking of it to their next step to something else that pays better. It, it is right now where so comics is at. Tunes. Yeah. Yeah, right now what's going on with comics in our opinion having watched the last 4 or 5 years, people you know the, longer than that, but well, just over the last just the last 4 or 5 years, years is it's really increased in in its velocity here, but I think it's it is on a suicide run. I think people know the comic book industry is going to die uh they know it is dying so they're trying to build up a platform in comics so they can jump ship to something else we're seeing people jumping into gaming jumping into animation uh jumping, jumping into, into movies film. um and they then don't want or to jumping into to webtoons now because now that webtoons got the money off of all the people who worked hard for years to build it up and now they're just going to give it to the people leaving marvel and dc and print comics to come there and get a tv deal so I'm not bitter about that at all. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, I know. Well, that's what's going on though. I, I think everybody knows comics is going to die. And I think they're just sort of like, they're, they're letting the plane go down and Bane's getting his parachute ready <laughs> while he just crashes the plane. Cause they don't care what happens. They don't care what, I don't think a lot of people working in comics now really care what happens. A lot of them are bragging about the fact they weren't from comics. They yeah. didn't read comics and never, I mean, I didn't read anywhere near as many comics as you did, for example. Um, I mean, my favorite comics when I was a kid were like the ones that came on the She-Ra toys. And um, I was more about, you know, animation, you know, anime, manga, that kind of stuff, you know, novels, things like yeah. that. And But I like to tell stories and I like comics. But um, I would never go in these places thinking that I deserve to write a comic book. Like professionally, because yeah. I knew I didn't, because I didn't, I, I didn't love it like people who should be the ones writing. Especially when you're writing, you really have to love what you're writing. Yeah. You're amused by something, so what is no, it? No, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying the fans. Yeah. You're smirking I, at me, so. No, I mean, I'm saying there's a lot of disdain for people writing this stuff, and I think that it shows in the, the I, I, I think it shows in the material that they, they're like, wink, wink, I'm in on the joke, this is a cheesy character, I'm gonna, you know, play up the fact that this is a cheesy character, I'm gonna insult the fans, because, oh my god, you're just a bunch of, you know, it's like the, the Will Shatner skit from SNL. Like, would y'all get a life? You know, it's like there, there's a there's. Oh, like, I've, I've been told that so many times about my <sighs> disdain for the new Shira. But there's like such a there's such a like uh, almost like bitterness. Like, hey, I'm just biding my time in comics until I jump ship to something else. You that's pretty much what you're doing. Freaking losers! But I, would, you know? I mean, I I would never have automatically assumed that I should write comics because I wouldn't have thought I should have even applied for something like that because I didn't have the background, I didn't have the love of it, I didn't have the knowledge of it mm. that would make me feel like I was doing it the justice it deserved. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like. I wouldn't have thought I could write it as better than somebody who this was what they loved and they knew everything about it. And it was so important to them because passion has a lot to do with it. If you're just doing it to, you know, as a platform to flip everybody off or because you, you know, 
you just want to take something over and you don't really have a passion for it, it's going to show in the work. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just saying. Well, no, that's kind of, I think, what's going on with them, you know, with DC hiring Zoe Quinn. Like, I, I would never... I would never want to write a DC book because when I grew up, I, I, I read like 95% Marvel. I mean, I read like everything Marvel put out, you know, in the 80s pretty much. And I was definitely a Marvel reader. I did read a couple, you know, I'd read Batman books or whatever, but I would not be the one to write Green Arrow. I'd not be the one to write Green Lantern uh, because I don't have the knowledge of the DC universe right. that I do the Marvel That's universe. That's what I'm saying, you know? you know? And I would never assume that I should do that because I wouldn't feel that I had the right to do that. That makes sense. I and mean, I have the right to do anything, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but then you get people like, again, they bring in people from other media who have very little or no experience with the comic book industry or, 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 or knowledge of you know what they're writing, and they're, they get handed like top shelf titles, they get handed animated series to reboot, they get handed right, exactly. you know, these things, and they have no real love for it, it's they just a stepping it. stone for them to do something else. Well, you know, okay, about the she thing, okay, and it might be that it pans out, she still has no boobs, but whatever, and that's fine, but she was she for a reason, um, and it might come down, her hair might come down, and she looks girly, which I'm hoping you're right about that, I'm hoping that's the case, I do think they picked the images on purpose, it was really stupid of them, and, and it's biting them in the ass now. But um, I'm hoping that you're correct. And if it's good, I will say so. Um, I am also uh, up with the 40-year-old range. And so I, you know, have my opinions about it. They're going to be strong yeah. because, you know, of who I am and how old I am and what I grew up with. Um, uh, Smith said, do you believe people who go on about politics 24-7 is a psychopath? I think they have a very limited focus. And that that's kind of disturbing because you see that these Twitter and it's like it's all politics. Unless you're a political uh, blogger or writer or something like how can you make everything political everything is political it's like it, clearly you're obsessing yeah i actually feel sorry people that everything is like political you can't be happy you because that be has to be all. a miserable way to live and i mean um even my mo- i have family members who are completely opposite of me politically completely and you know what we talk about it sometimes and poke fun at each other but we at the end of the day it's like that's not all we that's all we do. And if, if I had to be a person that's all I lived and breathed, I can't imagine what miserable, how miserable that would be. I feel bad for people like that. I think it's just, I think there's just a lot, I think there are a lot of issues going on. I think you see it compounded more in comics because the, again, I think money, money is a big factor. I think it's, it's, it's really, um, you know, people aren't making money and really what's, what's burning them more than anything is seeing these indie creators who they disagree with making really good money that they couldn't even imagine right. like they honestly thought if they tarred and feathered them enough in the comics press that these people would just go away and now they've they've got like you know hundreds of thousands of dollars and oh my god right. this can't be true um, you know that's about the sheer thing about yeah new power see at least initially my problem with sheer was the appearance of sheer but it's beyond that because there's a lot of other things i have issues with and some of them i can't talk about but there's a lot of other things i take issue with um, not just on the way she looks, but on the way other things are shaping up to look and the fact that it looks very much like a Steven Universe fanfic. Um, I have more more issues with that kind of stuff. Um, I just label it all she because it's under she But yeah, yeah, I didn't like the way she looked, but I also like the way some of the other characters are... It, not that I like the, don't like diversity in characters. I just wish... If, hey, if you're going to do a show like Steven Universe, something that was... The art style was great because it was a new show like Steven Universe. Adventure Time. The art style fit because it was its own thing. Yeah. Um, that kind of stuff. A gumball. The art style fit because it was its own thing. If you're going to take something that's beloved and has a certain style, a certain um, aesthetic, a certain audience certain fan base you just can't go make it something it isn't just because you know that's what's cool right now and some of the other character designs i i really have opinions on it just but we're looks, not gonna go there yeah but well, i'm just saying there's just here i mean and we rag on sure about we, it we know some stuff other stuff we can't talk we about some, some people involved on the yeah, show yeah we know some yeah. things that we can't talk about for other reasons um so it's my my not liking she was a multi-level multi-layered reason and it's not just her hair and boobs. But anyway, um Yeah, it's every it's every Tumblr trope <laughs> ever of every Tumblr comic yeah. ever, all in one. Uh but you know, if it's good, it's good. But again, it's I think it's the thing, it's cause we're taking something an existing thing and changing it versus creating something new. Oh, I'm not you know? against small boob ladies. My you know, I'm not gonna sit I better not say that because she took it mad at me. I know some people will have a smaller chest, but they still look feminine. Um it just seems like when she turns into She-Ra, she's more like Boira. 
I, I don't she know. She doesn't even do that. She looks younger. Just her face looks like she's a 12 year old boy. I mean, she just looks like younger and boyish. And it's nothing to do with boobs. Yeah. My God. 2000's He Man is like one of the best reboots it ever. It was so good. It was so good. It was very and good. I guess the uh, storyboard, um, <laughs> or the producer on Voltron. I celebrate the entire Cup Size uh, catalog. And somebody That's told funny. me the uh, somebody told me that the the producer on the new Voltron for Netflix was actually uh, worked on the the 2002 He Man, and both of those I consider excellent reboots uh, because they're still you know faithful mm-hmm. enough to the original. And not insulting to the audience, uh, whereas Shira just—I I, am not sure what anyway, I think. Anyway, we're not going to try to turn us into yeah. a Shira again, even though that's what I'm apparently known for now. Uh, uh, but so, uh, anyway, it's getting really warm in here. It always gets hot in here because where we're at, the air conditioner has to be turned off to do this, and it gets hotter. And yeah, because the air conditioner is right by the hotter. microphone. So, so I'm very hot. Yeah, but anyway, the point of this being is now the comics <laughs> media re-boobs. just <laughs> reboobs. Oh God! Oh my God! Anyway. Uh, but yeah, now now where we're at right now is you know all the the anti Nazi articles are going to start trickling out from all the comic book sites, all the fringy uh, websites, the Voxes, the Verges, the Polygons, all well, by the same company. What I did company. agree with the beat um, was that not the word Nazi is is not being used as it was meant to be. And it is kind of, I do agree that, you know, throwing it around out there is not the way people should behave. I agree with no, that. No, but it applies to their but, side. Right. I also don't you know, like it in the context of spinning it. They need to stop doing that. Uh, they right. need to stop doing that. And most people they're mad at aren't the ones yelling Nazis. No. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, um, I'm just saying. So anyway, that's kind of the state. There are Nazis, Nazis everywhere. If you uh, disagree with anything that these publishers are doing, you are a Nazi. Yeah, just I just fantastic. Don't like, I just fantastic. personally I don't like the and, word. And oh, you're a Nazi, word. and it's okay to punch you. Apparently, I don't. I don't. I, I'm just gonna go on record to say again, I do not like the use of the word Nazi to apply to anybody who doesn't agree with you. I do not like the use of violence against people who do not agree with you. Um, it's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And one side is definitely showing more violent tendencies, and the other that they're screaming is more violent. I will say one side, while there might have been some name calling from the other side, the one side is the only side that I'm aware of that has actually crossed the line into physical violence, physical property destruction. Uh, well, they calling claim for... that the other side destroyed some things too. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm just, again. Be better. Just, I guess is just everybody be better. Just freaking stop it. And... Except when you talk about Shiro, you still get mad about Shiro. <laughs> but okay. it's just, yeah. Because I mean... that fits my definition. Yeah, of we behavior. would never tell people to go punch people that didn't like you don't well, like we don't like, go I mean, punch him punch him who likes you no I would never do I that because that's stupid that's so stupid this um, is dumb okay so I think we can probably wrap this one up uh, uh, you can only milk a Nazi for so long I wouldn't recommend um, milking a Nazi no, at all no don't milk Nazis uh, <laughs> so we will talk to you later. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we went live on this one because we just wanted to kind of get it out there. We went there. live because he doesn't want to edit. It takes yeah, too long. Yeah, I'm lazy. It has it's, nothing... it's more to do with that than anything. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, yeah, the Girl Scouts and things with the boys. And stuff. Yeah, Alex Jones. Yeah, we didn't talk about Yeah, Alex Jones. That's a whole nother. Well, what I'm worried about the Alex Jones situation is that sets a precedent to basically have people – with unpopular opinions, while well, he's an extreme case, having people with unpopular opinions be deplatformed completely across yeah. Facebook, YouTube, and that's kind of a scary thing that too. So that's a whole other that's like a whole other thing. Um, okay, so we, yeah, we're gonna go um, not milk Nazis because it's bad. Um, okay. All right. See you guys later. Bye.